Hello! This video is going to be about the kinetic molecular theory of gases, which is often just summarized as the kinetic molecular theory. Now, if you know what all three of these words mean, kinetic, molecular, and theory, then the kinetic molecular theory will be pretty easy to remember. Let me just tell you what they are. The word kinetic, you may have heard it in telekinetic, like somebody in a comic book or a movie that can move things with their mind. It means movement. The word molecular means that something relates to molecules, and the word theory means that something's an explanation of the world. So the kinetic molecular theory is our explanation about the movement of molecules in a gas. The explanation about the movement of molecules. Kinetic molecular theory. What the kinetic molecular theory is, is basically a set of five postulates. And if you don't know what a postulate is, that's okay. A postulate is just something that you believe. It's like a fact. It's something that you just take for granted. So the five things we believe about gas, or the five postulates about gases, are first, that gases are made of tiny spherical particles. Maybe they're atoms or molecules. Second, that these particles are so small, you can ignore their volume all the time. They basically have zero size. Third, these particles are constantly moving in straight lines until they hit the walls of the container. And when they hit the walls of the container, they bounce. Fourth, these particles do not attract or repel each other with electric or magnetic forces. And five, the average kinetic energy, which you can imagine is the speed of the particles, is going to depend only on the temperature of the gas. Hot gases are going to go quickly. Cold gases are going to move slowly. So these five postulates are the kinetic molecular theory. And I want to make it clear that the kinetic molecular theory's postulates are not things that we as scientists believe to be absolutely true. Atoms are not tiny spheres. Atoms can exert electrical and magnetic forces on each other. But these are five simplifications, five statements that if we use them to model the behavior of a gas, will give us something very, very, very close to the real behavior most of the time, and is very easy to work with and analyze. But you shouldn't think of it as five different sentences. It's really a picture. The five postulates of kinetic molecular theory imply that gases and the molecules inside gases move around like this. And that's what we're going to be exploring further in this unit. 